second St. Patrick's Day party of the year in Cleveland, the Naval Society uh, National Ball. And this year we are indeed fortunate to have as our honoree and male person of the year, uh, William Bill Conway. Now, you may or may not know him, but if you saw what he has done for Cleveland, you would know what people from Ireland and <coughs> from County Mayo have done for this city, his outstanding abilities not only in industry, but in his philanthropic efforts certainly allow us to be honored to allow him to be our male man of the year. That is not what tonight's event is about, though. That comes Friday, Saturday, and we will have all the time in the world to talk about that. Well, remember, the evening after this ceremony, in a certain restaurant not too far from here, she had the pleasure of meeting these people, and in fact, she dedicated a special facility in Mayo, in Apple Isle, for this event. So, I think this is very special because of that. I'm especially honored to be able to introduce to you the three gentlemen from ACO. They are certainly not strangers to Cleveland. And in fact, I'm not necessarily a stranger to ACO since I was there last week with my wife. So with that, I'd like to have you meet Terrence Dever, Kenny Neary, and Mr. Kilbane. Would you step up, please? of the year, and my best and most favorite councilman, Mr. <laughs> President Mark J. Sweeney. I will now turn this over to a much more eloquent person than me, the Mr. President Mark Sweeney. All right. Thank you, Mr. S Thank you, Mr. Scallon. We never gave a round of applause for Patricia Gallagher. This guy's not bad either, right? Uh, why are we here? Ten years ago, Sister City, Ackle, and Cleveland. We have a few sister cities throughout the history of the city of Cleveland. None more special to me personally than the Ackle-Cleveland relationship. Mayor Campbell was here. A couple brief stories about uh, the importance of this to me. Ackle Island. Uh, Alec Roy and Tucker Gee is uh, two of my grandparents, the Gallagher's and the Lavelle's. And uh, going back, two stories about Ireland for me. Going back to uh, Ireland with my family, my wife and three kids, or four kids. Going back to. The redhead will never get to the We got to stand in the rooms of my grandmother's house and said, Kids, this is where you came from. And on the way there, I'm cruising down the road that takes you there, and where the sign is, right? The city of Cleveland logo was fading. So before I left, I got a sign shop, sign stickers. So I'm pulling over on the side of the road, moving the sheep, and I'm stickering the sticker right up there. I was hoping I wasn't getting in trouble by the folks that uh, enforced that permit. So that's a, that's a personal story. But today I have a resolution of uh, recognition of the 10 years, and I want to present it to the distinguished men from Apple. So I'll walk over and get it. And I'll put my glasses on. There's a, couple, there's a couple things that uh, green background, we don't get that too often. I'm going to not read the whole thing, but there's a couple uh, lines here that I want to read. Uh, the resolution of county chair, or the county manager, former county manager of Mayo, um, Mr. Dev Matten, to invite Judge Gordon back to Mayo to give uh, a guest talk in the new courthouses in Kessel Bar, and she duly did herself and Roger and the kids, and we had a lovely time. But we also found out that we are distant relations. <laughs> <laughs> My great-great-grandfather was governed from North Mayo, 
and uh, my mother is of course from Leeds, of course. So we claim we're related whether we are or not. <laughs> so I am now going to present Martin Sweeney with uh, the timepiece that we spoke about. We did this already in Ackill, and some of you were in Ackill for that occasion. Councilman Sweeney, we leave it to you when you're pulling this up in March. Sweeney. But since he went to say nature, he's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> In any event, I think I noticed now that several of our other friends from uh, Mayo are here, and we welcome them. We have it's only been less than a week since we've seen you. We look forward to being with you for the weekend. Also, what Martin failed to mention is there is a rather well-known <coughs> pub that was founded by certain Gahan members. I didn't think Kenny, you didn't mention Carrie, you didn't mention that. Was that the same family? <laughs> and finally. I made a scientific study one St. Patrick's Day. And I am convinced that if everyone in Cleveland was connected to Apple went there at the same time, it would sink. And with that, the bar is open. <laughs> Councilman Sweeney, Tom Scanlon, John Patricia Gohan. Uh, as chairman of uh, Apple, Training Committee and as Chairman of Agile Global Development Committee. I want to join with our CEO in thanking Cleveland, and I mean Cleveland in general, for its contribution to our parish over many, many years. I myself was one who benefited from the actual hospitality of Cleveland in the late 60s, early 70s as a student, as did many other Mayo students. I want to formally welcome to this event our Chairman of Mayo County Council, John O'Malley, step forward. We have been here. And the Councillor Gavin. Mayo County Council facilitated the process of the treaty of this great city and that group because we hadn't a junior chamber, singer chamber status in the parish of Ackham. We had to be facilitated to a part of the body. And as has been said, Major, uh, Mayor Jane Campbell, with her entourage on that historic day in 2003, signed the first leg of the charter, which forever linked the great, the great city of Cleveland with Ackham. To, to whom so many in that parish owes so much. On my own behalf, and on behalf of my delegation, I want to thank you all for what you've done over the years. We have benefited economically, we have benefited culturally, and we hope to, uh, to benefit from you industrially in, in the future. But I am very, very proud to stand here among friends who have been associated with the development of our parish over many, many years. So without any further ado, I want to thank you all for facilitating this event. It culminates 10 years of successful training, and it's something that we've been very proud of and are very endeared by Kermahinga Mene. Gathering, I will take 40 seconds. The design of the clock, it was a very simplistic approach. Two time zones, two continents, one people, and I think we've lived that out over the last 10 years, we've lived it out over many decades, and hopefully we'll continue to live that out into the future. You'll hear from me Saturday night, so I think that's the briefest speech I've ever given. <laughs> Thank you for all our With that, this is over. Now, I tell you, I'm supposed to be in charge of the speeches and the timing for Saturday night. Now notice the quality here. All the speakers for Friday or Saturday night take heed. The bar is reopened. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, how are you? Jack, I haven't seen you. Long time. Good to see you. Long time.
She looks great, Jack. Yeah. She looks great.